I was born in Russia. At the age of three, I was mauled by a bear. <laughs> so naturally, I skipped puberty. <laughs> and at four and a half, being a fully formed, grown adult human woman, <laughs> you can imagine the jealousy. Oh. <laughs> But you know, despite this fact, my mother at the time, she insisted on tucking me into bed each and every night and telling me bedtime story. Now, story always the same every night. She would get very close to my face, like too close, and <laughs> with a sort of twisted, maniacal grimace, she would tell me, Katinka, the moment you were born, it's a moment from which I will never, ever physically emotionally or spiritually recover. <laughs> it was as if the devil himself rose up from hell, wrenched apart my legs, and transformed my pelvis into a food processor. <laughs> Churning my innards into this hellish stew of blood and gristle from which your bulbous head appeared. <laughs> The gaping maw, somehow backlit, was emitting a screech and a scream so piercing, so horrible, I knew at this moment I had to contend with the fact that this was to be the soundtrack to the horror film my life had become. <laughs> you know, they say that hindsight's 50-50. <laughs> I don't believe this woman liked me very much. Now, my father, he was very typical Russian man, very typical, proud, drunk, and dead by 50. <laughs> but at the very least, I am consoled by the fact that he died doing what he loved. Drowning. It's important to have a passion. <laughs> so, not shortly after this, I go to live with my grandmother. She was a blind, crippled, amnesiac woman. I believe you call her quirky. <laughs> and she was very helpful in her no-nonsense approach towards life. She would tell me, Katinka, listen, the world, horrible place. People rotten to the core. They will lie, cheat, and steal from you at every turn. So please, if for nothing else than a few welcome moments of distraction, try your best not to be ugly. <laughs> she was also very helpful in elucidating quite concisely the difference between the Russian psyche and the rest of the world as she was dying, wheezing her last fetid breaths into the atmosphere. She turned to me very dramatically and said, In Russia, no one expects to be happy. She also died standing up, which was very impressive. <laughs> very impressive.